I can't fix this. The master key is missing and the weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. You can see all over the valley. From this distance, I can only imagine what's on the other shore. The platform further uptown presents a wonderful view of the valley. Leaning on this rusty rail, nose to the wind, I can let my gaze wander freely to the other shore and across the mountains. The local gondola lift's hauling cables seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. These binoculars should provide an excellent view of the opposite lake shore. I have to insert a coin first. It's glowing red. It seems you need a special key to get the thing running. Indeed, Mastermind. Did you already ask around town? Maybe someone there has it. High voltage. There's got to be a way we can fix this. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen, judging by the thickness of the cable. Last resort, self-termination. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? Time waits for no man, not even in Trevorbrook. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. Judging by the smell, this was used to transport cookies and lollipops. I noticed a figure on one of the rocks, a hexagon. I can only speculate on its purpose. There's a clothesline up there, right under my window. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Be careful! The table is wobbling terribly! You better keep your distance! This table has a horrible wobble! This table! It has a wobble! Everything's going down the drain around here. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. 
You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain, just like this wobbly table. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Please don't ask. I can't even savor my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. I'd like to report a theft. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house? Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sulz? Baron von Sulz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sulz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing in... Um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy. Who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself.
She seems very focused. Hey. She's almost in a trance. Science fiction. Something involving spaceships. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Berlin is located right in the middle of Brandenburg. So it is worlds apart. Brandenburg? Never heard of it. Star Cybernetation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cybernetician too? I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum what? Anyways, I'm going to be a star cybernetician. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even rulers into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? I can make incredible amounts of candy disappear. <laughs> I can do that too. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. So, what do I have to do to make you tell me? Hmm, there's only one thing I can think of. Can you prove you're not an Earthling? I'll think of something. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. Modern cuisine. A lump of minced meat in the shape of a hedgehog, garnished with spike resembling breadsticks. Toast Hawaii. Cheese skewers. Looks a bit shabby. Note to self, the buffet in this guest house is an obvious case for the public health department. Is that a maggot? It's having a good time. They serve traditionally hearty local meals in this place. Apparently a few maggots found themselves a lovely home in there. I'll save you, my little friend. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. This can must have fallen off the table. this lead to? Locked.
before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. Just a hanger. Hanging dead animals on your wall is a bit eccentric. What a mess. Nothing appears to be missing, except for my notes. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. I don't want to cover up these people's works of art. This muddle of spots and drips is probably telling more about the room's many previous occupants than I'd wish to know. The weather has brightened up. The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house. Fresh air is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Must be a local myth. Maybe somebody hid their money in there. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. No. I would probably hurt myself. I'm not tired. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. Excuse me, didn't mean to. Hey. She's almost in a trance. Look, this is the this is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. This is a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? 
My mom says he is now living on planet no good. Huh. There really is a hidden stash below. Loads of useless junk, and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. Morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actual. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Anything else I can do for you? Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers. What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling any better? Now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Claus disappeared. Who is Claus? Claus is my tomcat. An angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Maybe he just went for a stroll. I don't know. Claus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan from Trüberbrook Sultz. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trubabrook is slowly going down the drain. 
only claws remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashion. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for claws. Please excuse me. Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. Hilarius the Unready, Margrave of Triberbrook. Conqueror of the Dragon? Mm -hmm. Savior of Triberbrook. Yep. Mm -hmm. In the year of our Lord, 1250. We don't want to cover up these people's works of art. Desperate. It won't be this easy getting close to it. We know well enough that cats like to climb. Unfortunately, their bodies seem to be designed for climbing upwards only. Anyway, Beverly, I've spotted a gigantic red tabby in a tree, which, on closer inspection, could in fact also be more like a fox. Assistance may be required. I'll just try luring the cat down with a mating call. Meow. Meow. Hmm. No reaction. Am I expected to just use my hands to hold it in the water? Subject, species reintroduction. Although I can't return the tuna to the wild as long as it's in the can. Its heydays are over. Soft as a feather. A beautiful, healthy tree. Acasoidu platanus, the sycamore maple. That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. You like this, don't you?
Nice. Nowhere to run from here, kitty. Oh, I think he passed out. Now I've got you. Hello. Hey. So, how long have you been here? The day before yesterday. Feels much longer, though. And just saying, the public transportation around here? Germany is a mess. Why Triberbrook, of all places? It's hard to find, even on a map. But I'm not from these parts, after all. I've been trying to pinpoint the exact location of those ritual grounds for a while now. And when I finally found them, I immediately took off. The people around here are nice. But also a little weird, don't you think? Something about them seems a bit off, yeah. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the States, huh? The United States of America. Where from exactly? Woodenville, Washington. Hmm, never heard of it. Any bigger cities nearby that I might know? Seattle, the rainy jewel of the Northwest. Heard of it? Oh yes, I know the place. I was passing through some time ago. You've been to the States? Yes, once. That was a few years back, though. Actually, I had come to New York to attend a conference, but then I got acquainted with some folks there and stayed a while longer. A while longer? In New York City? Not the whole time, no. Took a little road trip. First off to the New England states, Boston, Waterville, all the way up to Moosehead Lake, Mount Catadine and so on. Then Canada and the Midwest. Montreal, Toronto, Detroit, Chicago. On and on. Then Washington state. Sort of got stuck there. Oregon, down to San Francisco. Ah, those were the days. Wow. You must have passed through Seattle on the way then. Hmm, yes, maybe. And that's where you study? No, I studied on the East Coast, the Cornell, Ithaca, under Dr. Schrodinger. Have you heard of him? Ah, of course. Now I understand why you're on exchange in Germany. Exchange? No, it's more of a coincidence. I won the trip. You won? Don't ask me. I've never taken part in any lottery. Interesting. Uh-huh. So, so. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh! My beloved Claus, where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zulz, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Truberbrook Zulz and Truberbrook Dussel, assistant secretary to the municipal council, patron of Truberbrook and the arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. 
What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. I'd have given you everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Have you talked to the police yet? I gave the officer an outline of the crime. It's only going to be a matter of hours before someone will attend to the issue. What do you mean, a matter of hours? The police station is right next town. But as you know, that's quite the distance. We have to be patient. As soon as the inspector has solved his current case, he will start working on yours straight away. Keep me up to date. I will let you know if there are any new developments. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Oh, thanks. For me? I found it under the bed. And now you want to, um, let's say, pawn this device in exchange for a fishing rod? Yes, that sounds like a good deal. Just be sure to bring it back, will you? Well then, good catch. What the... uh... can opener?
Now it's a case for the metal restorer. I professionally disassembled this town's landmark, an old set of armor, in a fit of passion. Note to self, make another appointment with the clinical psychologist. Leave it like that. I met a woman named Gretchen in Truber Brook. She is a fellow scientist. Gretchen studied anthropology in Vienna. Uh, could you please focus on the task at hand? Hi. Hey. I wonder what interest the burglar has in my paper. Presumably not the brightest candle on the cake. Who else would steal a paper on quantum physics? I... Just wanted to say hi. All right. Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. Good job. The cable car is good. Now that the cable car is fixed, we need something to replace the missing gondolas. I've already made an entry on this. The local gondola lifts hauling cables seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. The smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. I'm sure this will take us up the mountain. You're a funny man, Tenhauser. I like it. Lads, we'll meet on top. In case you manage to find a way, see ya! 